Hello everyone and welcome to Brad Summer. It has been a very long time guys since my last dating simulator video and I just want to uh, give a quick disclaimer before I start. This video is not for children. If you are a child, do not watch this video. There will be sexy times. I will blur any of the uh, private parts out, but uh, besides that, whatever content is in here, uh, you will have to watch it at your own discretion, okay? So this is a game about Brad, probably. Okay, and it's probably happening in the summer. There's actually two versions of this story, guys. There is an adult version and a PG-13 version, but since I have the power of editing on my side, I'm gonna go ahead and play the adult version, okay? I don't wanna miss out on anything, all right? I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna enjoy it. I'll just blurt out for you guys later, all right? I'm sorry, Brad. Nothing has changed since the last time that I saw you. Your grade point average is below 2.0. Your academic scholarship at Johnson Junior College has been canceled. <gasps> No! Brad, what are you gonna do, dude? I had hoped that as my academic advisor you could pull some strings for me, Professor Thoreau. Okay, so now we know what his name is. He's no longer just old man. You are fortunate that your grades weren't bad enough to get you dismissed for academic reasons. Will you be returning to your home for the summer? No. I've been unable to sublet my apartment. The landlord won't terminate the lease early. Brad, you're, you're not getting a good time at this, dude. Like, you... Nothing good is happening for you. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make sure that good things happen, okay? Like, like, having sex with women, I would imagine. Because it's a dating simulator. If I walk away without paying the rent, I'll have a debt collection agency after me. Poor Brad, he can't handle that, man. He can't even get through school. Okay, have you contacted your family for help? I called my dad. He said I'd had to pay my own way my sophomore year. He suggested I apply for summer jobs here in Johnson City. I see. Have you had any success finding work? Not yet, but I have a job interview this afternoon at Kennedy Preparatory School. Kennedy Prep is a very prestigious school. Miss Jones, the director, uh, the director is a respected member of the academic community. I suggest you wear a suit for your interview. I wish you success. I will. Thanks for the advice. Mm. Well, man, if you ain't got a job, can you afford a suit? I don't know, man. Okay, so Brad is thinking now. Huh, I hope I get the job. If I had studied more and partied less, I could be spending the summer at the beach. Yeah, yeah, Brad. Way to go, you big dummy. A few minutes later. Well, Mr. Swartz, I've reviewed your application. I have reservations about hiring you. While you meet the qualifications, I'm not pleased about your low college grades. Fortunately for you, none of the other applicants passed the background check. Okay. So you got a bunch of criminals, uh... Coming up and trying to get jobs at your school, that's that's good. The job pays one dollar over the minimum wage. Your duties would be as stated in the job announcement, clerk typist, and light maintenance. Do you want the job? Yes I do, I want the job! I'm a bit confused! Don't you have employees who normally do this sort of work? You, idiot! We do, but all are, uh, off for the summer. We usually shut down for the summer, but I have three students taking college prep classes. Thank you for the job offer. I can start immediately. We'll tell you when you can start, Brad. Okay, the pay period starts on Monday, report to me then at uh, 8 a.m. Here's the employee handbook. I want to pay you to pay special attention to the rule about no fraternizing with students. No banging the students, Brad. Can you do that? All you gotta do is get through the summer without banging anybody. Yes, ma'am. Is there a dress code? Since you will not be interacting with the public, you can dress neatly. That means no shorts, t-shirts, or sandals. Yes, ma'am. I'll be here Monday morning at 8 a.m. My three students will be applying for college. You will meet them in room 113. Brad, what the hell are you wearing, man? Holy shit, you're not gonna get any ladies with that on. Jesus Christ, you might get a few dudes after you, perhaps. Interview the students to get the application information, then submit the applications online. There's a laptop computer already in the room. Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm Brad Swartz. Miss Jones asked me to submit your college application online. What's your name and age? I'm April Adams and I'm 18. Are you a student here? You look like Sailor Moon. What the hell is going on? No, I'm working here for the summer. What's your grade point average and academic area of interest? 3.95. Oh, damn. Out of possible 4.0. I know how grades work. Don't worry. And my area of academic interest is mathematics. Okay, good. Uh, extracurricular activities? I was on the basketball team during the school year and I do community service at the public library. Wow, you sound like a great girl, April. That's all the information I need. That's it? Yes, I can get the rest of the information from your student file. She's pretty. Should I ask her out? No, you don't ask her out because you're not allowed to fraternize with the students, okay? No fraternizing. Okay, fine. Just this once, you can fraternize just a little bit. Ask her out, dude. Do it. Would you like to go for coffee later today? That's against the rules. According to the student handbook, I should report you to Miss Jones. <laughs> well, fuck you, April, okay? 
Oh, nuts. Uh, I won't report you this time. <laughs> Thanks! You're so nice! I'll email the completed application to you. Thank you. Okay, so now we got a new student in here. So she's Bonnie Brown. She's 18 years old. Her grade point average is 4.0. Wow, good job there. And she is interested in biology. Extracurricular activities. She was on a debating team during the school year. And she does community service at the homeless shelter. These people are so nice, man. Only because they're trying to get into college. I can see right through it, guys. They wouldn't be volunteering if they didn't need to do that, okay? Don't, 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 don't you try and fool me, huh? Okay, that's all the information I need. That's all you need. Yes, yes, yada, yada, yada. She's got pretty hair. Should I ask her out? Brad, you are such a horny dude. Seriously. He's like, wow, I found a woman today. I think I should have sex with this woman. Yeah. Would you like to go for coffee later today? That's against... Wait, can I go back? Oh, that scrolls the screen. Okay, I was hoping that maybe I could go back a step and, uh, you know... What is this? Uh, just according to the student, yada, yada, oh, nuts. And she did. Brad, you violated the rule of fraternizing with students. I have to fire you. I'll mail you your paycheck. This is the part where I was supposed to say before I did that and then load it up again so I didn't have to go through the trouble of talking to all those ladies again, but that's cool. After getting fired, I got a job washing dishes. I never saw any of the girls again. I was able to pay my rent for the rest of the summer, but did not earn enough to pay for fall semester. I took out a student loan, was able to finish my sophomore year at the junior college. I learned from my mistakes and was not a party animal. I transferred to a four-year uni- Holy shit! In the state capital and subsequently earned my degree. The end. So, Brad lived happily ever after, guys. That's basically it. Okay? He didn't bang any women, but he had a good life. He got through school. He's doing well. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get a different ending now that doesn't involve me getting, uh, fired immediately. Wow. Girl number one. April. I will not ask her out because I know that she will not accept my proposal. I'll email the completed application to you. Thank you. Girl number two. Bonnie. I'm not gonna ask her out because I know that she's a bitch. Don't ask her out. Okay, so now we move on to the girl we can ask out, I would imagine, guys. So let's see, let's see how this works. Alright, I'm Brad Swartz. Miss Jones asked me to submit your college application online. This is Chrissy Carson, guys. She's 18 years old. Her grade point average is 3.8. Okay, area of academic interest is theater. Okay, so you can act, huh? Why don't you not act like a bitch? Because the other girls didn't. Huh? I was in a drama club during school, and I do community service at the soup kitchen in town. That's all the information I need. Don't you need to ask me blah, 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 blah. Nope. Should I ask her out? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna ask her out, okay? Because I think she's gonna say yes. Would you like to get coffee later today? I don't think so. Okay, I feel so confident in myself right now, okay? Is it the shirt? It's totally the shirt, guys. Well, it's five o'clock, time to go back to my apartment and get some supper. Well, how about you find some women? It looks like it might rain. So, uh, I guess the whole point there was that you really do not fraternize with the students. You, you just don't do it. And he did uh, the first time and he got fired, but this time it was fine. He only asked one student out and she said no. Nuts, I need to get some groceries. I head to the restaurant down the street. I can't afford to eat out until I get paid. I'll go to the supermarket. Okay. Ooh. There's Chrissy. All right, let's go see what Chrissy's got to say. Hi, Chrissy. Oh, hello, Brad. I see you're buying groceries. Are you actually going to eat that prepackaged soup? Well, yeah. Yuck, I'll get you something decent to eat. Oh, I know what I'm eating tonight. <laughs> whatever she cooks me or whatever, I don't know. There you go, chicken broth and fresh veg vegetables. You know, I don't got time to be cooking stuff. You, you, you really think that you can just do this to me? Huh, boss me around? You didn't even accept my date. What's the matter? Don't you know how to cook? I can heat up soup in the microwave. That's not cooking. Do you have an electric? Yeah, I don't care what you got to say about that, okay? Oh, oh god, I think she's come with me. Okay. My place is on this block. So 15 minutes later, guys, the soup is ready. I don't know how we managed to cook soup. Like, uh, you know, cook the vegetables and all that stuff in 15 minutes. She's a really good cook, okay? Let's just put it that way. Thanks for showing me how to make it. I hope you'll stay and help me eat it. Okay, as long as Miss Jones doesn't find out. 15 minutes later! I enjoyed making the soup. Do you like it? The soup was wonderful. Next time, you get to cook supper. Aren't you afraid we'll get in trouble for breaking uh, the no fraternizing rule? What I do after school hours is none of the school's business. What about you? Miss Jones might fire you if she finds out. I guess so, but it's not like we're dating or anything. I don't know anything about you other than you have a summer job. You know lots about me because you saw my student files. Well, I finished fresh freshman year at the community college here in town. I'm earning money to pay for fall semester and to pay my rent. I figured you a college, you for a college man, what's your major? It seemed all I did was party last semester, but I'm an information technology major. Tell me your home life, about your home life. My parents divorced last year, mom gained custody, although she's never around, she spends lots of time in Europe. What about your father? Jesus, why, why am I asking these questions to this woman? 
Holy crap, at least she seems to be having a good time. He's somewhere in South America, working on a mining project. We were never close, what about your folks? My dad raised me from infancy with the help of my Aunt Emily. I don't know anything about my mother. My family won't tell me anything. My dad lives in the state capital, visits once a month. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I have a six-year-old sister, she was at boarding school. How about you? I'm an only child, you're gonna... You're going to major in theater, do you want to be an actress? What's with the small talk here? Oh my gosh. Well, Brad likes to rebuild computers and sell or give them to people who can't afford a new computer, which is really nice, but you think he just sell them so that he can make some money so he doesn't have to get a summer job. What the hell's wrong with you, Brad? You got your priorities in the wrong order, dude. Isn't that expensive to buy old machines and new parts? Actually, no, folks, sorry, no computers. I know how that works, that's cool. Software. Let's talk about software, because that's really interesting and totally what you guys want to see in this video. People talking about software. What happened? What just happened? Oh, okay, we're going outside. I enjoy the evening. Don't forget, you owe me supper sometime. I won't forget. Good night. Good night. Friday afternoon. Mm. All right, the weekend at last, and I got paid. I'll go home, change, and then head to the beach. An hour later. Oh, look at that. There's a girl on the beach. The lifeguard said swimming is prohibited because of jellyfish. Hey, there's April. She looks great in that bikini. <laughs> it's not fraternizing if I just say hello. Hey, April, nice to see you. Great, great job on that bikini. Lots of boobs and stuff. Hi, Brad, it's nice to see you too. I was about to go to the lake. Do you want to join me? Whoa, there's a no fraternizing rule. I should tell Miss Jones on you, you damn idiot. I don't know if that would really do anything because it's my responsibility to not fraternize, but either way, I, I, just, I was really offended by the girls threatening me and whatnot earlier and one told, my, told on me and that wasn't good. There's a lake nearby. It's actually uh, a pond, but it's big enough for swimming. Uh, let me put on a shirt and we'll walk there. All right. I feel like I'm not gonna get anything with her either. I'm gonna get the other girl. That's just my, that's just my prediction here. I didn't know this lake existed. Not many people do. The owner doesn't want strangers coming here. How do you find it? How did you find it? Bonnie, Chrissy, and I were leaving the beach once uh, after learning the jellyfish were there. We met the owner and she invited us to come here whenever we wanted. It's a nice place to swim. Bonnie, Chrissy, and I sometimes come here at night to go skinny dipping. Whoa, okay, I see you around campus, but I don't know much about you. Oh, come on, Brad, you've seen my student file. I know lots about you. What? You, you know lots about me? Huh? We've hardly ever talked other than a scholarship interview. Chrissy told Bonnie and me all about you. Oh, good, so now I don't have to go through the trouble of actually telling her about my shit. I'm starting to get wrinkled. I am too. I should be heading home now. Can I walk you home? <laughs> Okay, but no funny stuff. Don't forget to visit me at the library. I'm looking forward to it. That's it. Okay, Friday afternoon, one week later. We're gonna try this again, I guess. We're gonna go see somebody else. I don't know. I'm glad Miss Jones gives me a list of jobs that need to be done each week, and that she lets me leave early if I finish that day's work. I think I'll head to the city park. I bet you we are going to see Bonnie, I think that's her name. I've walked through most of the park and haven't seen anybody. Oh, there's Bonnie. Wow, I wonder why she's sitting there alone. Maybe because uh, the whole world revolves around you and everything you want happens, okay? Except for the girls going out with you. But uh, other than that, you're doing good. Hi, Bonnie. It's nice to see you. Now, you hear this music? That's the music of love, guys. I didn't get that music on anyone else. This is gonna be good. Hello, Brad. Nice to see you, too. I didn't expect you to see you here, especially by yourself. Really? I come here... Uh, I often come here in the evenings as part of my community service. Have a seat. I don't understand what the city park has to do with the homeless shelter. The homeless come here to panhandle, and I and others come here to talk them into coming to the shelter instead. That's so sweet. That makes sense now that you've explained it. Do you work in the shelter? Yes, I mainly do housekeeping, changing bed linen and towels, and restocking toiletries. So basically, she works at a vineyard, and she makes wine, and she has a bunch of brothers and sisters, and stuff. I see one of, the reg one of our regulars. Would you like to accompany me while I talk to him? Okay. Why would there be regulars? Do they just do they just come to the park every every time? Like, do the workers go there every day and be like, "Hey, stop panhandling and come to the homeless shelter now"? And they say no, and they just come back the next day and do the same thing or something. Well, it's several hours later. The park is closing. Would you walk me back home? Yes, I would. I was about to offer to walk you home. Thank you. You're sweet. Actually, he's just really, really horny. If you haven't noticed, he asks every girl out that he sees, literally. Thanks for walking me home, Brad. You are welcome, Bonnie. I'll see you on Monday on campus. One week later. Of course. <sighs> I wonder if I should call my dad. Sure, let's call dad. Hello. I can't take your call now. Please leave a name and number and I'll get back with you. Hi, dad. It's me. Give me a call when you get a chance. I guess I'll talk to dad some other time. 
I wonder if I should ask one of the girls out on a date. Mmm. Saving that game. Saving that game. Boom. Done. Chapter 2, page 34. We're not going to lose this one, guys. I am going to ask Bonnie out because she seemed to be the most receptive, maybe. What's up, Bonnie girl? Hi, Bonnie. It's Brad. Hello, Brad. Would you like to see a movie this weekend? I got a better idea. Let's go to the beach. The beach is closed for swimming because of jellyfish. I'm not talking about the beach near here. I mean going down the coast. I guess I can get us bus tickets. Don't be silly. I'll drive. Meet me outside the school gate at 9 a.m. on Saturday morning. Won't Miss Jones see us? She's going out of town. If she doesn't, I'll call you and we'll meet some other place. Why would she even be there on a Saturday anyway? People don't go to school on a Saturday. Okay, I'll see you Saturday morning. It's happening. It's happening. I packed cold drinks and sandwiches for us. Who owns the truck? It belongs to my father. He's letting us use it for the summer. I have classic rock CDs under your seat. See anything you like. I'd like to listen to Abbey Road. Sounds good. How did you find this place? April, Chrissy, and I went exploring and found it. Several hours later. So are we swimming the whole time? We're still swimming. Holy crap, that was fun. You're good company. Shall we stay to watch the sunset? I'd like to, but we'd better head back. Miss Jones is probably back by now. If you don't mind, you can drop me off at my place. Okay, let's do it. I had a wonderful time. Oh, look at her. Look at us. We're getting together. Holy crap. I did too. Can I see you next weekend? Okay. If you have a DVD player, I can check out a DVD from the library for us to watch. When was this game made? If you have a DVD player. My laptop has a DVD drive, but the monitor is tiny. Hmm. I'll think of something. I'll call you about uh, 1 p.m. on Saturday. Okay, good night. Good night. Oh, look at that. We're kissing. You look like you wanted to tell me something. I'll tell you later. Good night. Good night. Hello. Hello, Brad. It's me. Would you like to see a movie tonight? Check out a DVD from the library. Come over at 11 p.m. and I'll sneak you into my room so we can watch it. This is not going to end well. We'd be taking a risk. Are you afraid of getting caught? Miss Jones would fire me, but she might expel you and notify your parents. She's never done one of her health and safety inspections after 10 p.m. I don't expect her to start now. Okay, you talked me into it. Where should I go? Meet me at the front gate at 11 p.m. sharp. I'll be there. Hello. This sneaking around is exciting. I hope we don't get caught. Be quiet. April and Chrissy have promised to let me know if Miss Jones comes around. Is that likely? No, she's only done a bed check once this summer. Are you sure about this? Yes, now get in here so I can close the gate. All right, let's go. My room is at the end of the hall. And what if there is a bed check? We'll do like they did in the old movies. You'll hide in the closet. This is crazy. Let's do it. Hurry up. We don't want to get caught here in the hall. You have a nice dorm room. Did you decorate it yourself? Thank you. And yes, I redecorated it. What movie is that? The Maltese Falcon. I've never watched the whole way through. I'm sorry, this bench isn't very comfortable. Do you have any cushions for the back? No, I don't. Let's get on the bed. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Let's get on the bed. Aren't you going to kiss me? Yes. The answer is yes. Aren't you hot in that shirt? That depends. Depends on what? On whether you're too hot for your shirt. Mmm, I'm too hot. Then I am too. Oh, damn. Boobies. Okay, so what What now? Bed check. Hello? Miss Jones is on the floor. Crap! Brad! Miss Jones is coming! Grab your shirt and go hide in the closet! Go, oh, God, I'll have my shoes! Good evening, Bonnie. Good evening, Miss Jones. It's getting late. You should go to sleep. I was just about to do that. He should take his shoes when he goes to hide. I'll pretend nothing happened if you send him home immediately. Whew. Yes, ma'am. Don't invite him into your room again. I won't. I'll be watching the gate to be sure he leaves. Good night, Bonnie. Wow. Good night, Miss Jones. She would pick tonight for a bed check. Never mind about that. How about a good night kiss? And then we kissed. Good night. Good night. One night in August. Hi, Bonnie. It's Brad. Hi, I was about to call you. Oh, were you? You were about to call me on this one night in August, were you? Full of shit. Would you like to see a movie this weekend? Sounds like fun. Would you like to come over now? Now? Miss Jones would fire me and notify your parents if we get caught. She left for the weekend. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. April overheard her talking on the phone and Chrissy saw her leaving with a packed suitcase. Okay, I'll be at the gate in 30 minutes. I'll be waiting. Goodbye. Goodbye. We won't have to worry about bed checks tonight. Thank goodness. Have a seat. Oh! Oh, the kissing is happening. My glasses are getting fogged up. I won't complain if you take them off. Okay. If I can't see, I'll just have to feel my way. Oh, that is sexy, girl. Sounds like fun. Take off your clothes and lie down. All right, whatever you say, ma'am. 
A back rub was not what I expected. Don't you like it? I mean, she's naked too, come on! Just, just, just deal with it! I like it, it feels good. Do you think I'm pretty? I think you are, and you have a lovely body. What would you like? What do you like about my body? You have a sweet little tush and beautiful breasts. You like my boobs? Yeah, I do. May I kiss them? I'd like that. Wow, there's even a little tiny animation happening with the boob kissing guys. It's, it's, wow, so nice. Oh, that feels good. You make me feel warm and tingly all over. I can make you feel even better. How? Lie down and I'll show you. We're gonna have sex, okay? Jeez. Yep, so now he's, um, the... You know what's happening, guys. It's all good. You, you can figure it out. Whoa, a shaking camera! Why is it shaking? What's happening? Oh, Brad, I love what you do to me. Oh, apparently, apparently that's just, that's, that's what happens when you do sexy things. How can I make you happy? <laughs> okay, so, um, which, which of these do we want? I'm thinking love? Hmm, yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. I love how you feel inside me. Go faster. Faster. <laughs> Don't you just love it when women make this face? When you bang them, guys? Like, they're just going to town right now. I love how he's not moving in the slightest, but her face is just going. It's great. Great. I love it when we do this. Oh, more shaking camera. What is happening? <sighs> Oh, great, the one noise you make is that one. You're going to spend the night, aren't you? Wild horses couldn't drive me away. Good answer. No, it's not. It's the stupidest answer ever. I dated Bonnie throughout the summer. When September came, she went to California and enrolled at Southern California. I returned to classes at Johnson City Junior College. Bonnie and I called each other for a while, but she stopped after completing her freshman year. I had fond memories of Bonnie. The end. Wow. Okay, so I'm assuming that you'll probably get to do the other girls as well, um, considering there's just three girls in the story, and you could have called either of them and went on a date. I don't know how the other girls would have reacted to that, but, um, you know, Bonnie seemed to be, like I said, she seemed to be pretty open. She seemed to be down with the idea, doing some hanging out, and it paid off. We did some things. The end. All right. Well, if you guys want to see uh, the other, the other um, you know, stories, if you want to see me get with the other girls, leave a like on this video, and I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.